As long as you love me As long as you love me Hi, this is Allie from Ava Bella Boutique. I'm going to be showing you how to make a boutique hair bow today. I've got lots of people asking me how, so I figured I'd just show you how. Okay, you're going to need a lighter to heat treat your ends, scissors, piece of about three inches. This is actually probably longer than that. I'm not really sure how long it is. Um, I'm using my mini mouse ribbon. This is about two feet. Thread or string, whatever you're going to use to tie your bow. A salon clip. I got this on Etsy. Um, they're re relatively cheap. People say you can get them at Sally's. I could never find them at Sally's, so I just ordered it online. They have them all over Etsy. They're called Jumbo Salon Clips. A straight pin. And my glue gun. Okay. This is the template. I don't use a template, but I am going to show you how to tie bows today with a template because it is easier. Um, I make bows. I make bows this way. I just use my hand instead of the template. Okay, now the template is just a piece of cardboard that I cut a slot in the middle. This a width is five inches. That's the width that you're gonna need to make this size bow. Um, I did measure with my tape measure to make sure that the slit was right in the middle. Now, if you're using printed ribbon, this is really important. You don't want your print to be upside down when you make your bow. So, you have to do it this way. Well, actually, first you're going to heat treat your edges here. Just run the lighter over the ends real quick here. Okay. Okay. So you want to hold the template so that when you're looking at it, you're looking at the white side or the front and the slit where it's going to be the middle is on the right hand side. Now, you want the top of the design on your ribbon to be at the top of the template. Okay, see, this is the top of my template, it's the top of my ribbon. If you don't do it this way, your bow is going to be upside down and it's going to look silly. Okay, so, take my salon clip here. Okay, and I have it clipped on there and then you just want to wrap your ribbon around like this. Okay, see I've got it wrapped around so that it's wrapped around twice on this side and twice on this side. And now your pin, you don't want to wrap it too tight because you want to take it off of here. Your pin, you can see the ends of the ribbon. You might want to shuffle it around a little bit so that they're even, but that really doesn't matter. Okay, then you want to take your pin and stick it in your slot. See, you measured so it was in the middle, your slit, hopefully slit slot sounds dirty okay anyway so now you have this this tail should be sticking out on the top the pin should be in the middle it's just a big ribbon loop okay now I take my left hand take my two pointer or my two fingers and put them under on the bottom of the ribbon the, the pin is in between okay and then the ball on the top of the pin I put my thumb on so you're holding it like this okay now I'm gonna take my tail why well, put my thumb on the pin? It doesn't really matter how you hold it. And I'm going to twist it to the right. Okay? So now you can see I've got it like this. Now, I'm going to hold it with my right hand and go in between. This is the twisted part. This is the part that I had. You can't really see. But there's a tail in there too. And you want to take that tail and pull it to the left twist it to the left. So now, you can see, this tail and this tail, they make a little line here. This is the straight line that we wrapped around the template, and this is the start of your bow, okay? So now, when you twist these, you wanna make sure that you hold them together like they're one piece. So, how am I gonna do this? Take it and you just twist it out, okay? So now my other piece, okay, see how this piece right here is a piece I did is twisted. The other piece is still straight. So now you're gonna hold it like I had it and take this piece that hasn't been twisted yet and twist it out. You wanna just keep pulling it because you want it to be an you want the ribbon to look like an X. Now this ribbon on the back, 
This is really important. It needs to stay together right here. It needs to be a straight line together. Okay? Now, you can see, this is the front of my bow. Okay? The pin is in the middle. Now, just keep fiddling with it until you get it how you want it. This is how I want mine. So I'm going to take my pin here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Go watch your show. Okay, now I've got my pin, and I'm just going to pin this bow in place here. Okay. So now you can see. Thank you. No more, please. Okay, so now you can see. I've got my bow. I've got my four loops. This is this, the X that I made. Thank you. Okay, the back is still straight together, one piece. Just straight. So the back should be straight and the front should be an X. You can see it already looks like a bow. Okay, now I'm going to take my salon clip. See how it's got this curve here? The part that is bit like the bottom of it. Like face me. Thank you. No more, please. Okay, and then I'm going to take my, just clip it on the center of my bow. Okay, see, I've got it clipped on my bow here. I'm gonna make sure it's in the center. Now we're gonna tie the bow. So what I do is I take a long piece of thread. Now, this is important. I double my thread. I just fold it in half, okay? Because if you don't, the thread's gonna rip and it's just gonna be a pain in your butt. Thank you. Now, I'm going to stick my in through the back. doesn't really matter which way you stick it in. Just stick it through. Okay, so now it's all the way through. I'm going to tie it. Just like you're tying a shoe. And then I'm going to stick it back through. Thank you. Go to the other side. No more. Okay, and then I'm going to go. I'm on the front now, tying it. You do that three times. So now I'm going to go in through my salon clip again. Okay, now before I do the third knot, I'm just gonna pull my string tight. And sometimes I notice when I make bows a lot, this thread cuts my pinkies. Okay, so you wanna pull it so it's tight. Thank you, honey. Okay, and now I'm gonna tie my third knot, and then you tie it again. So now, Okay, then you're gonna clip your string. Okay, you can see my bow, it doesn't look perfect. It doesn't look perfect, so what I'm gonna do is I hold the center and then you just kinda stick your fingers in the loop and just kinda work with it until it looks how you want it to look. Thank you. Okay, now you can see Everything on my bow is going the right way. Okay. Now you want to take your coordinating piece. Okay, bring that. And tie it in a knot. Okay. Okay. See, I've got my knot here. And you want to put a little dab of glue here, right on the middle where you tied it. My glue gun's not even hot. The outlet must not work. Anyway. So then you tie the knot, you glue the knot in the center right here. And then you would take it and glue it on the back here. Get it all situated. Anyway, you glue the knot on. Hopefully that was semi-helpful for you. But here's my bow. Now if you want to make a stacked bow, you just put two of them together. And... A tip that I've learned when you make the stacked bows, I would put the bottom one upside down like this, and the top one right side up when you put them on top of each other. Because if you put them both the same way, then they just kind of like fall into each other and it just doesn't look as nice. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, I'm gonna After this, there will be some pictures of bows that I've made, and check out my boutique, Ava Bella Boutique. Thank you.
If I was your boyfriend, I'd never let you go I could take you places you ain't never been before Baby, take a chance so you'll never ever know I got money in my hands that I really like to blow Swipe, 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 um.